I am Santosh Gaidankar. Today I am teaching you dynamics of machine in that one static force analysis. This is the problem I am going to solve. A slider crank mechanism as shown in the figure. This is the figure. The force applied to the piston is 1000 Newton. There is a force is applied 1000 Newton. When the crank is at 60 degree from inner dead center. That is we call it IDC. This is a 60 degree from the inner dead center. Calculate the drawing torque T2. We have to find out the T2. Now this is the diagram they have given. Where AB is nothing but 100 mm and BC is nothing but 300 mm. Now we are going to consider the scale here. I will consider a scale. The scale is 1 cm is equal to 50 mm. 50 mm. That means AB is equal to what? 100 mm divided by 50 which is nothing but 2 cm. BC is 300 divided by 50 which is 6 cm. Now I will draw a, a reference line. I will draw a reference line here. Now I am going to draw the actual diagram. This is the point 60 degree with respect to this point 60 degree 60 2 cm with the help of roller scale draw 2 cm 2 cm this is a 2 cm this is a point A this is a point B from B to C it is 300 mm which is nothing but 6 cm now cut an arc of 6 cm cut an arc of 6 cm Cut an arc of 6 cm from B here. Now draw the line and complete the diagram. Now this is nothing but C. Now piston we have to draw. Draw the piston. This is the piston I am going to draw it. This is the piston. Now the P force acting here, P, P is equal to 1000 Newton. Now this is nothing but 2 centimeter and this is nothing but 6 centimeter. 6 centimeter. Go for naming. Link 1, the fixed links are considered as a 1 link. This is the link 2, this is link 3 and piston will be 4th link. And go for the forces, indication of forces, F, 1, 2. Here F 2 3 that means we are saying that 2 is going to push the 3. Here F 3 4 and last will be F 1 4. F 1 4. Now we are going to draw the free body diagram. Free body diagram we have to draw. Free bodied diagram. We are going to draw the free body diagram. Now this line I am going to draw here 2 cm this is the 2 cm line I am going to draw here as a free board diagram 2 cm next third link I am going to draw here 6 cm as a free board diagram 6 cm it is 6 cm which indicate 300 mm this is 600 uh, sorry 300 mm next we are going to draw the piston 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 this is referred as a 90 degree just draw a box with reference to this seventh line. Next, complete the piston. Complete the piston and show the force P over this line. P over this line, where P is equal to thousand newton. Only this is known force. Now next, this link, draw a line of here, 
this link here just a line now as the piston moves horizontally always we have to draw a line perpendicular perpendicular we have to draw we have to consider a perpendicular line you have to you can draw it not completely other otherwise just draw a line at the bottom now based upon the piston we are going to draw the force polygon because only this magnitude is known force polygon force polygon we are going to draw now i'll consider the scale here scale 5 cm is equal to 1000 newton i am going to consider now based upon this line this is the reference line i am going to consider here 5 cm i will draw a line 5 cm line i will draw 5 cm line which indicate what 1000 newton this is p is equal to 1000 newton p is equal to 1000 newton now i know this line i know this line now i will draw a line here from this point from this point and you can also draw the line from here here this side also you will get the same answer next i know this line from this point i will draw the line and I, next i will complete the complete profile through the arrows if the arrow is here the next arrow will be this side the next arrow will be upward it should be a closed loop it should be a closed loop now i will go for the naming here only naming i will go only for the forward paths let us consider this is f12 here only forward you have to write it f23 here you have to write f34 here you have to write f14 this is the procedure you have to follow in order to obtain the result now this line indicate what f34 line f34 is a line here now measure the value of this line if you measure it the value will be 5.2 or something around 5.25 write it here 5.25 into scale you have to consider into scale that means 5.25 into scale is nothing but 1000 if you measure it if you measure it will be around in the calculator 5.25 into 1000 it is 5250 5250 newton now grow let us go here 5 cm is equal to 1000 newton now for this part 5.25 is equal to x x now cross multiply this one x is equal to 1000 into 5.25 divided by 5 here it can be written as 5250 divided by 5 which is nothing but 1050 newton if you calculate if we calculate it will be 1050 newton 1050 newton now if this is nothing but f34 and this will be f14 now go for transferring the arrows here now transfer the arrow this is the arrow this is nothing but 3 point 3 force these are the three force acting at a point now we have to balance here we have to balance the second link now we are third sorry third link how to balance just transfer here over here a line has to be extended here and here now arrow the arrow has to place exactly opposite to here arrow will be exactly opposite and number should be 4 3 opposite to here you have to write 4 3 in order to balance this one you have to show the arrow towards this is two force member this is three force member this is a two force member now once you know this part this arrows has to be transferred 
here. Here arrow has to be transferred parallelly with the help of ruler scale and the arrow will be in opposite direction in this direction and yet here the the force will be 3 2 opposite of this one in order to balance here the next arrow will be downward but in opposite direction downward in opposite direction thus the member is rotating in anti clockwise the torque is applied in the clockwise direction torque is applied in clock clockwise direction now extend the line and find out the r distance or h it should be perpendicular to here is a perpendicular it is a perpendicular you have to write take this tool as a reference line place here and draw a perpendicular line perpendicular line i will consider this is h or r or r if you measure it the values will be 1.9 centimeter 1.9 centimeter now in order to find out t2 see here how to find out t2 here T2 is nothing but what? F32 into R or H. H. Now what is F32? F32 is equal to F23 is equal to F43 and 43 is equal to F34. What is F34 value? Which is nothing but 1050 Newton. 1050 Newton. Now substitute here 1050 Newton into R. What is R? 1.9. Now 1.9 into scale you have to do it. Scale. 1.9 into scale. Now what is 0? 1050 into 1.9. The scale. The scale is nothing but 50 mm. It is in mm therefore we have to divide by 1000 in order to convert into Newton. Newton meter. If you calculate, if you calculate the value, it will be around 99.75, 75 Newton meter. If you are not considering the 1000, it should be written as 99.75 Newton mm we have to write. If you are considering the 1000, divided by 1000, then you have to write this part. Otherwise, you can write this part. Here, which the T2 is rotating in clockwise direction. Therefore, final answer will be T2 is equal to 99.75 Newton meter clockwise. This is the torque. We found it of slider mechanism. I am Santosh Gaidankar. Thank you very much.